Okay, well, I have uh, this idea that I wanted to share uh, that kind of came to me when I was thinking about uh, if space was uh, a medium that causes drag, much like if uh, when you're in uh, water and you try to uh, kind of wave your arms around, how you kind of feel this mushiness of the water accumulate in the direction that you're pushing against, so you get this drag effect. Uh, you know, when you like, if you stuck your arm out the uh, window of a moving car, <clears throat> then you feel the drag of the air uh, medium that you're traveling through. So I'm curious that if to think about space itself as a sort of a medium that has the same kind of drag, and if it's if that's true, does that drag have any sort of effect with uh, or any sort of relationship with gravity? And I thought about it, and if you um, look, think about the motion of our planet, the rotation of it, and the orbit of it, then there should be four drag points uh, where your weight will have some kind of significant change based on the if, if space has a drag or not on our motion uh, relative to the planet's motion. So if the planet is moving in this direction of it, in its orbit then that means that as the planet rotates this way your you should have a change in your drag when you're here you know you're you're you're, you're rotating this way with along with the planet but when you get to this point you know 90 degrees from the sun and 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 right at the point where you're at the far end of the planet's rotation and uh, orbit motion then your weight should change right here. It should go from being, your, you know, you have a little bit of drag on you as you come to here, but once you pass this point, then you have no drag anymore. You're going along with the rotation of the planet and the orbit of the planet. So your weight should have a little bit of a significant change at this point, and at this point, at this point, and this point. I label them A, B, C, and D here with the sun in this direction, the orbit is in this direction, our rotation of this direction, and we're looking down um, from true north, right here, right here in the middle would be true north. Uh, that would be like basically the true north, and we're looking at the rotation of the planet here from uh, directly above the planet as it's orbiting. So we're looking at its motion this way and its motion this way, and at these four spots during its rotation and during its orbit, there will be a, a, a change in your weight based on the drag. Because right here you're going with the planet's rotation and with the orbit, but right here, when you get to this point, you're um, you're going, you're being, you, see right here you're kind of you're going with the uh, orbit, but not with the, but the rotation of the planet isn't with the same as the orbit. Like when you're going this way on the on the rotation, you're not going the same motion as the orbit is. When you get to here and you start to go past this point, then your movement is with the orbit of the planet and it's with the rotation of the uh, planet as well. So your 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 drag should be the least, I guess, amount at this point because you're being helped by the the planet going in it, in the same direction as the, the rotation is going in the same direction as the orbit, and that doesn't happen until you get to this point. So that so right here your weight should have a significant change. Right here you're going against the direction of the orbit so your your weight should change again right here you're going against the direction of the orbit and the rotation of the planet is going against the orbit a uh, road direction too so your weight should change because so, here you're going against the rotation the orbit movement of the, of the planet and here you're going with the rotation of the planet so your weight should your drag should have a, a differential there at these four points at least that's what I'm theorizing. If uh, space itself has any sort of drag, you know, I kind of drew this picture as kind of a an example. Like if you're trying to push like a, a, a metal bar or something like this in a medium, and that medium has drag on it, then it's gonna you're gonna be pushing against that medium because it's gonna be wanting to go around the bar as you're going this way. So if space has this same kind of drag to it. Uh, we might be able to do an experiment where we could tell if there is a change in drag at these four points. And uh, that's what I wanted to share in this video. Um, okay, thank you very much, and uh, we'll see you next time.